think when we look to design a community, you want to try and come up with a variety of amenities, special places, gathering places, but create the, the tools for the residents to make it special for them, to make community. The Resolve campaign was um, a campaign to add to the affordable housing stock in the city, uh, matching up philanthropic dollars, government dollars, and uh, shovel-ready projects from nine agencies in the city of Calgary to address homelessness. Candidly, we reckon if something's working already, let's, let's replicate it. We're not out to try and just do a pure Made in Calgary solution, just to be different. So we looked at the, the pros and cons of housing first and we adopted it. Over 1,800 people found their way home. That might not have, if not for this campaign. It also created community pride and community spirit in a way that said, regardless of whether you're a government official, whether you're a private sector, whether you're an average Calgarian, whether you're in the community and nonprofit sector, we can work together for a common vision to ensure every Calgarian has what they need to thrive. When people get together like that, magic happens, and magic happened. When you look at Brookfield as an organization, they build their communities with a lot of intent and they take a lot of steps to make sure that they're diverse as well. And so what's special about Alan is that's his day job. And he took that love uh, of community and used his personal connections and relationships to engage others in a very important issue for our city. Growing up in Scotland, it was a relatively small community and you sort of looked after neighbours and, and just the integrity, authenticity, you know, just be who you are type of thing. So that was really the, the core and that's how I've sort of operated from a business and a personal point of view. I think people think ending homelessness it means it never happens. What it means is if somebody is faced with or experiencing homelessness, that we move them off into somewhere to live with the supports they need as soon as possible. So that homelessness may become an episode in someone's life, but it isn't a defining feature of their life. I, I think the Seton build uh, is especially uh, good because of the, the, the mixed-use nature of Seton. This build will be uh, in close proximity to all other aspects from a residential, condos, retail, hospital and all other services. So it's a perfect location in my opinion for uh, those individuals who will be calling uh, this project home uh, to live, work and play. This one is our first family build. So it's a 45 unit townhouse uh, development. It's got space for agencies to provide supports as well as outdoor community space. And we're so excited to bring families um, at an affordable level into Seton. You know, we live in a world right now where mental health is, is on the forefront, it's on the radar. Community is about mental health. It's about having your people. We all need that in life in Brookfield, and they're working with home space to ensure there's a building that creates community. Without community, we really don't have a lot. Fundamentally for me, what's important is to acknowledge these are people. These are people like you and me, they're somebody's daughter, somebody's son, and they need a safe home. I mean, being a community builder, we've built master plan communities all through North America, whether it be from starter homes to estate homes to rental product or to some form of affordable housing. We think that broad spectrum makes a community better.